Our next dish is a debut dish not found in any of the Gout Haters cookbooks. The recipe is called Chicken Salad Stuffed Tomato. Now in this recipe, which makes four servings, we only use eight ounces of chicken. Now this chicken has been boiled, the broth discarded, and then the chicken has been chopped. So this is all ready to go, but remember, if you can boil your chicken or boil your meat, anytime you're using meat, that will help get rid of some of the purines. So first of all, we've reduced purines by boiling it, and we're gonna be reducing the purines by only using two ounces per serving. Now the nice thing about this dish is, is there are so many different ingredients that go in with this chicken that your serving is actually a nice, well-proportioned serving, especially once the tomato is added and if you like, uh, maybe over a bed of lettuce. But we'll talk about presentation later. Now the first thing we're gonna do is take our mixing bowl and add our eight ounces of chicken. Next, we're going to add one quarter cup of minced onions, one third cup of diced green and red bell peppers, one third cup of coarsely chopped walnuts, two boiled eggs with one of the yolks discarded, and one third cup of mayonnaise. And you'll find a recipe for homemade mayonnaise in book two of the Gout Haters Cookbook Collection. And also on this DVD. Okay, next we're going to just blend everything together until it's all evenly distributed. And for this, you don't even need an electric mixer to see how nicely it's all coming together. And the red and the green just make the presentation wonderful because you have all of these nice colors and it makes it such a nice, attractive looking salad. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is cut up the tomato. We're going to cut a nice wide core in the tomato so it makes a little pocket. It's around in a nice circle like this. And get rid of that. Now the next thing we're going to do is score the tomato. Now when you score the tomato, you're not going to want to go down too far, only a quarter to a half way down the tomato. You're going to make four cuts. First one way, then across, and then the half of both of those cuts. Now what you're going to do is gently spread the wedges open so that it makes a little pocket. We don't want it to open up too wide. Just like that. Now we're going to take our chicken salad. So we're going to just take this recipe and cut it into quarters so we know about how much to use for each serving. Then we're gonna take this ice cream scoop and use it for a form so that it's nice and attractive when we put it in the tomato. It's a nice heaping spoonful right there and that's gonna go right in the center. And we're done with serving number one of four servings. For presentation, we have taken our stuffed tomato and placed it over a bed of lettuce and garnished with some scored cucumber slices, peeled baby carrots, sliced radish, and a sparing dollop of blue cheese dressing.